Until a few days ago, this had been just another roadworks, upgrading a highway near the historic southeastern city of Grahamstown. Now it's a site of a treasure hunt, sifting through tons of rubble for tiny traces of long extinct life and the fossils of species never known before. What we found is the plants, with one exception, are entirely new species of plants. And even the little clams that we find in the estuary are a different kind of clam. Uh, the seaweeds are a different kind of seaweed. And all of that is telling us that, um, it, that the environment was slightly different, perhaps more marine. The fossils date back to a time when Africa was joined with South America, Australia and Antarctica, part of a supercontinent known as Gondwana. This region would have been in the center of Gondwana. The fossils are expected to tell us a little more about what was going on then. So experts are trying to scoop up as many as they can. We can actually move uh, truckloads of large chunks of rock from those layers off site, which we will go spend years going through. I mean, this is early days. The potential is enormous for what we may find from the site. The road builders must now rethink their design to accommodate the site. Now there are plans underway to incorporate a picnic area near this fossil site so that the public can also get to enjoy this paleontological treasure trove. And that should be completed by at least next year. That is Andrew, CCTV, Grahamstown.